Hello, um, welcome to um, an online in harmony music session. Uh, this video is going to talk specifically about the flute part of music is the key. Um, I hope you're all doing okay. I hope you're all well and safe. Um, and hopefully it won't be too long before we're back in the classroom having a live music lesson instead of one over a video. Um, okay, so let's move on to the music. Um, before we do that, the first thing that I want to remind you guys of uh, is the difference between your resting posture and your playing posture. So resting with a flute on the lap. Um, and remember when you are playing, you are sitting up straight when you're in playing posture, sitting up really, really straight. Um, and making sure your shoulders are down um, and that you are feeling comfortable, uh, making sure there's no tension inside of your shoulders, your arms or your body. Okay, so oh, let's go on to the music. The flutes have a bit of a rest at the beginning and we don't really start playing until letter C or figure C. Um, and so here is the rhythm at letter C. Ta. Ta ta ti ti. Ta 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 ti ti. Ti 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 ta ta. Ti 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 ta 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 ti ti. So now that you know the rhythm of the piece, uh, let's talk about the notes on the flute that you'll need. Um, so for flute one and for flute two, you'll need an A and a G. And for flute one, for this part, you'll need to be. We'll need a few more notes later on, but we'll come to those in a bit. Um, so if you remember, uh, your B is you miss the first key, you play the second key, and you have your back thumb on the back. That's your B. To get to your A, you miss one again, and you play the next one. And to get to a G, you just put the next finger down. So if you just remember from our lessons, miss one, play one is a B. Miss one, play one is an A, play one, which is a G. Miss one, play one, miss, miss one, play one, miss one, play one, play one, to get all of your notes to come out. If you're struggling to get your notes to come out, remember you can always practice them individually by doing playing them as long as you can to get your lips and your ear used to playing those notes. Uh, if you're struggling going in between the notes, um, so keeping up with, with the rhythm, uh, you can have a go at the ambulance siren, which is playing in between two notes, two different notes, and seeing how fast you can do it. If you're struggling to read the notes, uh, you can write the notes underneath. Um, and if you're st if you're still struggling with knowing what the notes are on the on the five lines, um, you can look in your flute cases for some music um, because there'll be some examples of some notes with some letters written underneath, and you can match the ones that you need to do. You can research it online or you can go to the online practice tool um, at inharmonyonline.org where there'll be some parts um, where possibly there'll be notes written underneath. So for flute ones for this bit at letter C, you'll just need the notes B, A and G. Um, and if you can do ambulance sirens between those three notes, you, you'll be able to fly through this bit. And for flutes too, you'll just need an A to G. So that's that should be pretty easy. I've got some good news for you guys. Once you've learned letter C, uh, you've practically learned 75% of the entire piece because figures F and figures K are exactly the same. So good for you guys. Uh, now, I just want to remind you guys that if you are struggling at all or if I'm going too fast, remember you can pause the video and watch back and go at your own pace. Feel free to pause me. But if you've caught up to now, uh, let's go on to letter I. Uh, so flute one, we're going to need two more notes. And one of them we might not actually have done before. Um, so uh, to get to, so we'll need two new notes. We'll need a letter C and we'll need a note C sharp. To get to your C, if you just remember how to play your B, your C is exactly the same as a B, but take your back thumb off. So it's just that first finger on. And from there, to get to your C sharp, you just need to take your top finger off. So you just have your pinky finger left at the bottom there. And those are the two notes that you'll need. Uh, so here is the rhythm for flutes one and flute two. Um, 
at letter I. T T ta T T ta T T ta 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 T T ta T T ta T T ta to Okay, so now that you've got the rhythm, uh, now you just need to fit in your notes. Hopefully, you know, if you need to know the notes, look back in the video. Uh, if you need to read the notes, just write them in underneath. Um, if it's going too fast and you can't, if you can't read them fast enough. For flute ones, you can do a C to C sharp ambulance siren, which will help you get in between those two notes. Um, a little bit of a tip for, um, because when you're playing a C sharp, the flute is really hard to balance. And so uh, if you just remember to put your flute on your chin, on your finger here to balance it there, and on your thumb on this hand, if you have those three balance points, you'll be able to balance it really easily and be able to put your pinky finger down just to play your C sharp. And that's it. Uh, once you've learned that bit, you've learned pretty much the entire thing with a few rests in between. So make sure you remember to count your rests um, but you, you've learned the piece. Um, so I hope you have fun learning it and I can't wait to see everybody again and hopefully that will be sometime soon. Take care everybody. See you.